Oh no no! Ooh 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 ooh! Ah! Uh, no! Oh! Where is it? Food! St oh no 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 no! Right! Don't accidentally press the e. Okay. Oh! Seriously, dude, dude! Oh! I know what that is. Why isn't your head exploding? Yippee! And we're back. Right. We have sorted out the people terrorizing Freeside. A group of people wearing formal wear and um, masks. And carrying strange meat, which usually is human flesh. So I believe we've just killed a bunch of cannibals. So, yeah. Now, one of the other things we're doing here in Freeside, well, not in Freeside, in Vegas, is we are looking for Michelangelo. Um, but you know what? It does occur to me while I'm here. I've, I've, okay. I have decided that um, this thing is going to be my new silenced weapon. I may as well go and buy the named version. It's kind of bugging me to think that there is a better version of this, even though I'm only using it for silent kills. I can't remember what it was called. Little, Little Devil? I think it was called Little Devil. Oh, we shall find out. Good to see another. Was she talking to Cass, probably? Okay. All right. Welcome back, buddy. How's business? Things were better when the Omertas were buying, but we get by. Van Graff's getting killed is making a mess of things, but we have other customers. Oh, right, okay, yes, I never thought of that. Anything else I can help you with? Um, I'd like to see... Follow me. What you've got in stock. Like I la 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 la, I'm not listening, I'm not listening, oh society. my god, you're annoying. Right. So. Uh, oh yes, no, I'm buying from you. Ooh, 50 calibers. Now, I've actually got a lot of 50 caliber bullets now, but the question is, is do I need more? It's the thing with bullets like this. Can you ever have enough? There it is. We will take it. And I probably should have brought some of the stuff to... S oh, that's really annoying. I've got a load... Of you know what? Cancel transaction. Yes, I will be back. I'm going to the van to pick up some stuff to sell to you. It's my natural Hello. tradesman's instincts. I can't help it. I can actually park the, the van here on the strip. Well, near to the strip. That's probably slightly more convenient. And... Yeah, slightly. Because we've got to go to Michelangelo's, and then we can come straight out and drive right back to Prim. Okay. Win. Okay, let's try again. Welcome back, buddy. I'd like a large gun. Follow me. If you could possibly do it without any... Like I always there say, we go. a polite society is an armed society. Well, luckily for you, I don't come to you for intellectual conversation. Give me a gun. Right. Oh! You know what? Since I'm spending a huge amount of money, I always forget to do this. I always forget to do this. Um, where is it? Meeting people. He's, no, not that one. Salesman Weekly. I now have barter of 100. Welcome back, buddy. Okay. Let's see what you have. Have a look. Oh, no, wait. Is that... Oh, yeah, no, because he's opened the door. That's fine. There we go. Lil Devil. That dropped at least a thousand and a... One and a thousand, maybe. Nice. Okay, let's see what else you have that might be interesting. Okay, so I'm getting the Lil Devil and quite a bit of big ammunition from him. Um, he's got a little... More money, I suppose we could, you know what. Let's start nitpick. I've got almost 60,000 caps. I think I can skip a few. Let's have a look. Lil Devil. 
laser sight and silencer. Oh, oh no, and I should have added that. 45. It's not bad, actually, is it? That for a silent pistol, 45. Compare that to my... It's not that far off. It really is not far off. This. This thing does a little more damage than this, but not actually that much. How does it look? Have I got fingers missing again? Nope. Okay, let's go and see how it Oh, before we go, before we go, before we go. Pimping ain't easy, huh? Maybe if you find some decent talent, I'll start visiting the Wrangler more often. Yes, that is what I was taught. Yes. Yeah, here you go. The You'll sex need to bot use a to Upload the data to the robot. Okay. Where do I find a robot? Come back anytime. Yeah, where do I find a robot? Data. Quests. Uh, ring it. No. 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 Sex bot. Do I have... Okay. I think it was in Freeside. I think it was in Freeside. I'm, I'm trying to trying to go off memory here. However, all right. Let's go talk to Michelangelo now. And just I just want to have a quick quick look. It's a little cleaner, isn't it, than the normal 12.7? Is it me, or does it look... Does it look slightly smaller? The actual gun part, not the silencer. The silencer still looks enormous. Ah, oh, well, there you go. I'm wondering if this is a holdout weapon. Can I sneak this past the door? <laughs> bang, 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 bang! You'd never spot that, right? <laughs> All right, there you go. Got some money and got a new toy. Now, apparently, Michelangelo is having issues or something. Artistic block. Who knows? And we have to go and... Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Go through gate after gate after gate. Yeah, we have to go and give him a kick up the backside. It's hard to sleep in this place, I tell you. Last night, some girl was pounding on my door all night. Finally, I had to let her out. What? I take my wife everywhere, but somehow she keeps finding her way back. I did it! Okay. I've been in love with the same woman for 17 years. If my wife ever finds out, she'll kill me. No! Okay, that's terrible. Hey, come on, pal. I'm trying to put on a show here. You're, you're welcome. You're failing. I have a few questions. All right, then make it snappy, kid. This isn't exactly a lucrative career enterprise here. Yeah, that might be because you really do suck. The name's Knight, Billy Knight. And this here's what a lifelong career in comedy will get you, oi. Okay. Standing at what, yeah. That's exactly my point, kid. Exactly my point! How long have you been doing this? If you believe my mother since she first laid eyes on me. First thing she said was, boy, that's a funny looking kid. I guess I got a face only a mother could love because no one else would give me the time of day. Hey, maybe you can help me. See, I can never tell when it's lunchtime. Uh, yeah. You're looking for your next big break. Break's better than a shot. Less chance of lead poisoning. Oh, God, you're hey, terrible. Hey, if you know any gigs hiring, I'll work cheap. Real cheap. I'll take peanuts. I'll take the shells. Okay. Sure, later. God, I actually feel sorry for him. He was terrible. Some people are so bad, so well pathetic. You just, you just, you can't even wisecrack at them. It's just it tops promote. Really, seriously? Your merchant friend would make a fine NCR woman. Okay, never mind. I thought he was going to say, "I'm looking for some talent promoter." Yeah. Okay, Michelangelo's. I've gone a bit. I think I've got something in my eye. Can't quite see correctly. Traveling into the strip just got a lot easier now that the fiend's leaders are dead. Yes, that's me. Okay. 
Hello. Hello. I'm looking for Mr. Angelo. Okay. It's a... Um... Oh, hello. Box bobblehead barter. Do not add a bonus. It's a little creepy in here. Okay, I think that... Hello? Hey. Hello, Excuse assistant. Me, I'm busy. Hello. I'm sorry, you're what? You're busy. Really? Yes. Because if you if you weren't stood there, that the girder would fall over? You're holding the building up. Well done. Congratulations. Could you could you point me to anybody who's not quite so amazingly busy as yourself? No? Hello. Hello, it's dark. I'm going to guess you're hello. Michael. Yes. Oh, hello, I am Michelangelo. How can I... Uh, wait. Are you here to deliver more billboard requests? Please not tell me you're not a messenger on behalf exactly. of Mr. House. Exactly. Um, a messenger wife, yes, of course. Now, I don't actually know much about Mr. House, so... Why are you so... Bothered because spending him. myself to the edge of artistic oblivion for Mr. House sums up my existence since I had to leave Vault 21. That's why. Vicky, okay. you've got a very strange face. An artist, a rare thing to see. Watch your story. You lived in Vault 21. Tell me about it. Now, I've been in there. I've been in there. Yes, it was filled up with concrete or something. Well, some of it was. Mr. House is not aware of the fact that there is actually an area that is still available. And there is a person down there who I'm supposed to be collecting food for. Most people don't uh, understand what it means to grow up in a vault. Its corridors, its walls, radiate a warmth that feels safe, honest. Boring? But here, everything is huge and threatening. It's so empty that I think one of these days I'll just... Snap. Okay, talking of threatening, um, I need you to find your inspiration again. It sounds as if you don't like the place, because you're a big crybaby. What's wrong with it? it? It's got... Look at this place. It's... It's... It's a little dingy. You know, for somebody who makes lights for everyone, you, you actually live in a very dark and dingy place. Have you thought about putting a few more lights up in your own building? I feel haunted by something terrible. That would Working be me. Working in such a huge workshop often makes me shiver. I can't even leave the strip. Okay. So is this fear of the outside world draining your inspiration? That's all I really care about. Yes, I think so. But please, uh, keep quiet about it. Without inspiration, I'm as good as a tumbleweed drifting in the barren wasteland. Okay. Ooh. You exhibit clear symptoms of acute agoraphobia. I can help. Why don't you pack up and return to Vault 21? Because it's been filled with concrete. Okay, no. Let's pretend I'm a doctor. There you go. It's agoraphobia. Snap out of it. Ah, an educated fellow. Yeah, that's, that's That me. is almost as rare as artistry. So, how can you help me regain my inspiration? I could slap you silly. Several years of psychoanalysis and a few thousand caps a month will fit. Can I earn money off him? I know a guy in Freeside, really good at trepanation. You'll be am That's being hit on the head with hammers, isn't it? I, I like that one. Grow a pair and go out into the real world and find your inspiration. I could escort you into the wasteland. It's not... No, I really could not. I don't want this guy with me. Right, fine. Give me lots of money and I'll fix you. I will psychoanalyze you. What? Are you, you serious? I am an artist. I need inspiration, not therapy. I'm going to need surgery in a minute, mate. I know a guy in Freeside. He will hit you on the head with hammers. You'll feel great. Stop right there. I'm sorry, but there is nothing wrong with my brain. I what I need is something that inspires ideas back into my work. The threat of physical violence often inspires people. Grow a pair. I... What does this have to do with my... Never mind. 
I just can't oh, go outside. No, you're not Get coming it? with me. No. There has to be another way. Yes, please be another way. No. Oh. Fine, you can come with me. We could strap you to the front of the van or something. You'd Thank you for the offer, but I think I really can't go to see... Wait a minute. I know, I don't have to necessarily be there to see it. Yay! You're not making this easy. Screw it, hand over the caps or drop dead. Wait, no, 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 I don't want him dead and I don't need his caps. I need him to be inspired. What do you mean? Yes, yes, that's it. I have a camera. It is old, but it should work. Perhaps you could bring me images of inspiring landmarks. Seriously? I'll help you. Do you have any other landmarks in mind? You know, I'm tired of this. I think I just beat you senseless instead. Yeah, no, because I need him to be inspired. I mean, he said put my foot up his ass if he... <sighs> probably not inspire him. Ooh, I could earn a bit of money doing this. Oh, fair enough. Fair enough. This is going to cost you, though. There's an opportunity for profit anywhere, huh? Absolutely. Even if it means preying on the helpless. Okay. Oh, you look really helpless. Shuckster. 150 caps each Shuckster? if they're good. What the, is that good? I'm glad we have an understanding. Now, do you have any landmarks in mind? I've always wanted to see the dinosaur and its thermometer sign at Novak. It's not that good. Then there's the famous Bison Steve sign. Yeah, the we're McCarran trying to Airfield that. and the Helios One power station signs are of much interest to my work. Like the Sunset Sarsaparilla headquarters bottle. Oh. <laughs> Tempting, but fine. So I've got to run off and get a bunch thank of you. pictures. I really can't thank you enough for this. Please, get me all the pictures. I'll compensate you accordingly. God. Oh, and if you need more camera film, then just come back and I'll get it for you. Again, thank you. I have a Kodak. Uh, 24 camera films added. I only need to take five pictures. Why do I need 24? Good grief. How about a shot do you think I am? Is it Commander a weapon? Yes! Weapon! The Kodak. Ah, oh, 9,000 camera. Okay. Yeah, standing like a gunslinger with a camera. Oh, right. It's, it's got a whole... Oh, you know what? This is kind of useful. Has it got a good zoom? No, not really. All right. So, oh... Who the hell are you, Kate? Hi. What can I do for you? Oh, I don't suppose you want to run off and take some photographs for me. No, never mind. Bye. Yeah, bye. Can we strap a camera to you? Yeah, I know. We, right, we've got to run off and take lots of Hello. photographs. Oh, this is it. I'm lost. Didn't we? No, up there. Okay. So, where to first then? What's, what's the order to do this in then? The grand up, take Michelangelo's pictures for him. Okay, yeah, no, so I, classic inspiration. Take a picture of the, yeah, this is going to be the one. World map. Okay, so, Sunset Sarsaparilla, that's close to the El Rey Motel. So we go to Camp McAdam first, we can take those two. Yeah? Alright, let's go to Camp McCarran first. Let's pick up the van and take the van to Camp McCarran. Civilizing Prim will show it. Okay, I want you both in the picture. Right, no, stay there. Is that that's good enough? Could you I don't know. Eddie, could you just come? Um We can move you, can't we? You be Round about. No, no, no. All right, that'll, maybe that'll do. Maybe that'll do. Maybe that'll do. Okay, no, that's good. That's good. That is good. Slightly off to the side. Looking deep and mysterious. I like it. Oh, now Cass is looking the same way. It's like you're both interested. I'm liking it. Okay. Was, was that a... That didn't seem to be... Okay, I'm not figuring out the camera. No, I'm I'm feeling a little bit like that auntie who can't quite figure it out. No. Wasn't it camp 
All right, maybe it's not in, my, okay, is it not the doorway outside? No, of course it's not. No, I'm thinking like a tourist, not like a lighting thing person. Am I? No, right, that's daft. Read. Take a picture of the McCarran airfield sign. So that's not the airfield sign? That looks like the airfield sign to me. Are we too far away? Are we too, right, come, oh God, Eddie. We need, we need a more personal close up kind of thing. Come on. Yes, and... Right. Okay, now that's good as well. That's good. That's That says... What the hell am I looking at? I'm liking that. Let's... let's. I know that's... I'm going to stare at the cowgirl. Oh, no! A showdown. I'm liking that one even better. Cut it out, will ya? I'm just taking a photograph. All right. The both of you. I'll hold up here. Um... Don't Follow me. Yes, we've got to... God, put the camera away. We've got to find the Sunset Sarsaparilla bottle, which was over there. Was it? it? Was that? That was it. I think so. And the easiest way to get there was to... Cross a bridge, maybe? Yes, okay. Okay, say cheese. Nice one. Okay, say canin shit. Whoa, whoa, careful. Yeah, it, it's Norwegian. And it, it means say rabbit shit. Yeah, that's what they say when they take photographs. Don't ask me, I'm not actually Norwegian. Maybe it's something to do with the cold or something. The Kaiser has marked you for death. Oh, the Norwegian obeys. Poo. Bring yourself for battle. Oh, rabbit crap! I'm losing the ability to aim! Did I ever have the ability to aim? Can I... Go! Oh, I thought he was moving. God damn it, I hate those guys! You know... For this shot, I kind of feel like we need to get you a really, really cheesy sombrero and a stuffed elephant or something. It's just, it's just one of those shots, isn't it, really? Okay. Okay, this is the last one. Let's make it a good one. Give me pouty face. Excellent. Good work, people. Let's wrap it up. And actually, let's go to bed at... Or, or instead, let's level up. Like it. All right. Now, what I've been actually thinking about here is I'd like to get my gun skill just all the way up. I really, I just, I want to get it to 100. And I was thinking, you know what, let's round up. In fact, let's, let's round up explosives as well. Just nice round numbers here. And I've got one point left for science. Nah, okay, that'll do. Yeah, I think so. I just uh, gunsmith. Let's get guns and repair maxed out. And level twenty-four. Now I get some new perks here, I believe. So what have I missed at level twenty-four? We have got Slayer. Not really. Placebo effect. You sometimes... F no. After gaining such incredible knowledge from magazines, you manage to boost your skill before reading the first page. With this perk, every magazine you own provides plus one skill, max at plus three... Oh, so if you have three skills from... Uh, three magazines for a skill in your inventory, you get plus three on that skill permanently. That's kind of cool. Just not really particularly appropriate. Speech ability to focus. Not really something that... Nuka Chemist. Mm. All right, no, these are level 22. Okay, so what new perks can I... All right, so I don't actually have any new... Oh, that's a bummer. All right, then what to... Well, one of the things is, uh, things like tin head, pointless to take. What I need to do is find every single implant for the head. Then I get this perk for free, apparently. So I should start buying those, actually. That is... That is good.
Good idea. Action boy, extra vats. Useful. Gem resistant. Gem resistant perks means you're 50% less likely to develop an addiction to gems. That could be useful, actually, couldn't it? But then so could 15 action points. Um, what else do we have? Chemical engineer, you can turn goo and ash into the same type of ammo as you left your foe this way. No, thank you. Sense of emergency. Your life has been full of fear until you turned to booze. With this perk, you reach out for alcohol when your health drops below 80%. What does that mean? Does that mean when I go to 80% health, I automatically drink alcohol? That actually could be useful, wouldn't it? Because then I auto drink whiskey. Um, Alright, let's have a... What else have we... Too drunk to die. Level 8 plus 5 chemical addictions. While you are drunk, there is absolutely nothing that can stop you. You gain plus 5 to a damage threshold while under the effects of alcohol. That really would boost the effects of whiskey quite amazingly, wouldn't it? That's actually kind of brilliant, but actually, I like the idea of this one. Okay, I'm going to take this one. I have no idea what this does. You reach out for alcohol when your health drops below 80%, which it does. It did with the Legion today. But what does it do? Does it Next time I go below 80%, we need to pay attention. Although, usually when I go below, below 80%, my first thought is, Ah! Sense of emergency. Okay. Right, I am very curious as to what that one is going to do. That should be fun. What was I saying? Right. Yeah, oh, we, we need a night's sleep, I think. It is getting dark, and then we need to get back to the strip and give Michelangelo his pictures. But before we do, we also have a bounty to turn in for uh, Randall. Let's do that. Okay, Randall. Hey, so is Alex dead yet? Very dead. Very, very, very dead, and gleefully so. Good. Here's your reward, whether you want it or not. I'm, I'm getting some very interesting contracts. I, Come why back when I you're ready it? to pursue them. Why wouldn't I want the reward? And what's in that safe? Um, no. I've got more contracts if you're ready to go. Absolutely. Born ready. You know me. Yes. All right. This next job is in Novak. That's not Over the past few weeks, someone or something has snatched up several children from the town. Okay. The abductions always take place at night, and so far there's only one witness, and uh, he's far from credible. I think His I've name is Ricky. Oh, he's a jet no. fiend who wanders around Novak doing odd jobs, but is generally regarded as a shiftless buffoon. Nonetheless, dumbass Ricky is the only lead we have right now. See if you can pry some information out of him. The citizens of Novak are just about panicked over this. So get out there and bag the creep responsible. Okay, so they only come out at night. Maybe we should go and do that before we get a night's sleep. Maybe we should. Maybe we should. What time is it? It is 9.15. Maybe we should, actually. Gotta go to Novak and find Ricky. And maybe we have to do this at night. I tell you what. There was a... There were cattle getting... Cattle? Ca cattle? Um, Brahman getting killed at night time. Midnight. I had to watch one of the farms at that time of night. You know what? This might be the perfect opportunity to... See if we can get there in time. Can we get... To Prim... In less than three hours in the van? I know I could probably do that if I ran... But I'm not going to do that. Okay, so it is... 9th... Well, according to this, then, it took me about 10 minutes to drive. I guess that's perfectly reasonable, actually. I'm actually not that far away from Prim, if you look at it from the point of view of distance. Alright, so we've got Ricky, and we need to... We, we need to check it was that farmhouse late at night, but it was a really old one. Reunion. Stank out. No, stake out. No. Did I have this one? Have I done this one? Didn't I have a quest? I thought I had a quest. Am I getting really mixed up? Find anything? Not yet, no. Well, 
Yeah, it's it's been a while though, hasn't so it? I mean, I mean, I promised to fix this for you quite some time ago. This is this is this is the ranch. Does it have to be midnight? It has to be midnight. All right. Okay, let's go and find Ricky then. Classic inspiration. We've got this one. New Vegas Bounties. Grand opening. Yeah, we got that. New Vegas Bounties. Local map. Ricky is... Oh. Over here. I think. Yes. Hello. Ooh. See? Hey. Bubble gum, which I can take. Rounds, which I can't. You can keep the bubble gum. Hey, man, what's happening? Um, I understand you have information about child abductions. Uh, it was dark. Okay. I, I can't remember. Dude. Just remember. Uh, I, uh... Well, there was this guy, and, uh... Then... Oh, hey, do you have any new Coca-Cola? Lives, yeah, come on, lives are at stake. Children's okay, lives. Okay. Uh, it was dark, and this guy went running out of the town with one of the kids, uh... Uh, thrown over his, uh, what do you, what do you call it? Elephant? Donkey? Oh, oh, yeah, his shoulder. He was carrying the kid off to the west of town. <sighs> I passed out after that. I think I'm going to pass out again. Yeah, I might knock you out. All right, so... Somebody was running at... Those team junkies over at Vault 3 been taking some hits. Okay. I say kill them all. Yeah, killing them all is something I've actually been doing. I... Investigate the cave outside of down, and it is over there. Okay. Yeah, you know, you know what's not going to work? A camera. It's dark. Staying low. Yeah. Going for the whole chem thing again. And uh, hey, why not? Whiskey, your dehydration level has increased. Brilliant. Where's my cat eye? Cat eye! And purified water. Let's drink two of them. And food much less. I've no idea if I'm actually in need of food, but let's just assume I am. Okay, what is going on? Oh, you know, we're outside. We're outside. I want to try out my incendiary bullets for this thing. Probably should wait until I actually find a target. So, I see a radio tower. What I'm not seeing is a cave. Okay. Oh, I think I see a cave. Yes, indeed. I'm seeing a cave. As you can possibly tell, I've redone my hotkeys. And I'm not quite getting the hang of which one is which weapon. Okay. Um, radiation. You discover the half-eaten remains of Domus. It's a grisly scene that turns your stomach. You fear the other two children have met a similar fate. Oh, okay, that's. Pretty... I see you found Domus. I'm afraid he was unwilling oh. to accept the truth. Okay. His death was a necessity. I assume you must be some matter of hired gun. Are you here to enact justice? Um, what would a smooth skin like you know about justice? Um, that I will shoot you and you will die. That's pretty much all I know. I've heard enough of the preaching, zombie. I'm here for the bounty. I am to collect. What have you been doing to the children? While they were obstinate at first, they came to see the light. 
and they'll be happy to make your acquaintance. Uh, no, no thanks. I'm, I'm, I'm... Oh, oh! Not far Oh, oh, no, 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 really? No, 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 no. The shoot. oh, no, oh, really, really, really? Just, just really? Okay. You're a twisted man. You're a twisted, twisted man. And let's make sure I remember to reload everything. Oh. Kate and Billy. Yeah, I know. I'm I'm taking caps from a dead kid. Okay. No, I don't really think I need any spikes or darts. Um, I don't actually need any of those either, believe it or not. I'm absolutely overflowing with such items. Okay, well, he was really unpleasant. Deathclaw, Gauntlet, where is... Fred's finger. I'll guess I'll take the Deathclaw Gauntlet. Oh, they, that really was quite twisted. Yes, not liking that. Um, let's go and see what's happened at that ranch, then take this finger back and get a new contract before we uh, go back to see Michelangelo. I feel the need to kill somebody very, very soon. Okay. Nothing yet. And it is... Approaching midnight. I don't want to take any more cat eye until closer to the moment. All right, well, it seems. To have turned midnight, and I'm still not seeing anything. It is midnight, and I tell you what, though, I am thirsty and very, very hungry, and need sleep. Um, take some water and some mole rat stew. Grilled, ma grilled mantis, maybe that's enough. Yeah, I need sleep as well. What am I doing? I'm stood out here like a loony. Okay, maybe I should... Cat eye? All right, we got. S Is that a knight? Kit. Okay, he's a knightkin with a minigun, killing Brahmin. Okay. Seriously, you're about to mow down a bunch of Brahmin with a minigun. Okay, what was... Th that was a note. That was a note. Screams of Brahmin. Most of what re is recorded here is a mess of incomprehensible psychotic gibberish. It seems to express a general frustration towards a set of Brahmin who are allegedly keeping the author awake at night by screaming inside his head whenever he closes his eyes. Okay. So... He was mad and thought that the cows were talking to him in his head in his sleep. Naughty cows, don't do it again. Well, I suppose you can't now, because he doesn't have a Look head. who's here. Yeah, me, I'm here. Hi, how you doing? Um, Found anything? Yes. Nobody's well, going to attack. I don't know how you've done it, but I do know how I can thank you. Please take this. Compliments of Alice and myself. Okay. And help yourself to anything in that freezer over yonder. We got more steaks in there than we'd be able to eat in a year. Okay. So steaks. Freezer. Freezer? Uh, this? Is that what you're talking about? 
Brahmin steak. Ah, uh, you know what, guys? I've got tons of food. I really do. And don't actually need a huge amount more. Okay, it is midnight. Let's go and see Randall. Then get some sleep. And then drive back to Vegas. Okay. Oh, did you find out who took the children? Yes, I did. Outstanding job. I hate zombies. Particularly one that's a self-righteous child killer. Here's a bonus for killing that freak. Yeah, he's actually a ghoul. It's kind of, you know, calling them zombies. He's not really very nice, mate. Just thought I'd say. <sighs> Apparently There's I'm bored. another contract ready, and it pays well, my friend. You ready to get after it? I am. Yes, indeed. Good. This is another investigation, and our client is willing to cough up mucho dinero to see this thing resolved. All right. Folks have been disappearing on the road south to the Mojave outpost. For the longest time, people attribute it to the Rad Scorpions, but our client is beginning to suspect human involvement. Okay. The abductions are strange. There's little theft of property and never any ransom notice. Several of the missing wastelanders mention their search for a reputed oasis in the Mojave, which is pure horseshit. In all likelihood, these are probably just natural casualties of the wasteland. Regardless, our client wants results. Good luck. Okay. That was a bit of an odd one, wasn't it? We have got to check. Investigate the disappearances. Well, we're actually driving past there. We are actually driving past there. Ooh. But, as I mentioned, I do need a night's sleep. Okay, so, Mojave Outpost. Now, we are investigating disappearances that have been happening on this road. Somewhere to the south. Basically, right in front of the NCR. So if that is true, if that is actually happening, then... It's somebody with either a lot of firepower or a lot of uh, balls. Where exactly was it? Oh, God. Oh, we're right here. We have a skeletal arm with a note. Read note. You scan the crudely drawn map and notice a location to the west marked as shelter. Okay, something marked shelter. the Irish. Alright. Let's go and see if he knows anything about this. Hello, what are you doing? You kinda of wandering around like you're a madman. Hello. Sergeant Kilborn. Glad you're with us. Brilliant. Um, I'm looking for something called a shelter, and I'm not seeing any shelter around here. Right over here. Okay, what am I missing? Anybody, anybody seeing a shelter? Oh, still ahead of me. Tiny bit confused. Okay, is it a hatch to 
to Margot's bunker. All right, you guys, I'll hold wait here. With a smile. I'm doing the usual. Let's see what is in there. You've discovered a bunker filled with food and numerous amenities, a strange departure from the hostility of the wastes. You catch a scent of Brahmin steak, apparently fresh off the grill. As your appetite surges, you hear the distinctive crackle of an intercom down the steps. Bottled water. Nuka Cola. Okay. Magazines. All right. A crackling intercom downstairs. And a camera requires a key. Talk on the intercom. Hello, traveler. Welcome to my humble abode. Um, hello. Please help yourself to the food. You must be famished. Who are you? Allow me to introduce myself. I am Dr. Mago, at your service. All right. Why are you doing this? Isn't it reckless to invite strangers in? I'm doing this because I've suffered the unforgiving trials of the waste. I have felt terrible, crippling hunger that pushes a man beyond reason. I discovered this shelter in one of my countless peregrinations, and in the course of time I've set out to create an oasis of philanthropy. Okay. I'd like to go now, because you're weirding me out. I'm sorry, but I'm afraid I can't do that. Okay. My hospitality does require limits. Thanks to the barbarous nature of the wasteland, I must detain you for several hours as a precaution. Please, relax and help yourself to a hot meal. If you're still determined to leave after dining, just convey your request over the intercom. Um, so you're not going... Can I not get out? Is that what you're saying to me? Okay. So I have to eat first. I hope you enjoy the rest, friend. What can I do for you? You can open the bloody door. I've got to be going. Bye-bye. Let me out of here, you nut job. No, you're, you're very gracious. I'll be You've been an exceedingly amicable guest, but I'm afraid I cannot meet your request. I have other plans, you see. Despite the din of the intercom, you're able to make out a peculiar noise overheard. You look up, you become light-headed and feel an overwhelming with a warm, relaxing sensation, as well as a strange urge to kill. You wake up in a day, stripped of your belongings, and soon struggle to your feet. You notice a strange man eyeing you beyond the bars. You suspect he is your captain. Really? I'm so damned sharp, aren't I? Ah, you're awake. You're even more vigorous than I had anticipated. All right. Very good. I don't know who you... You don't know who you're messing with. I'm going to cut your goddamn heart out. No, no, let's find out beforehand what's going on. You're in a cell in my bunker. I'm afraid this is the end of the line, my friend. It's a matter of survival, really. What can I say? The wasteland really brings out that war of all against all quality. What are you to Oh, God. You're a cannibal. But wait, 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 wait. You've got tons... You don't need to be a cannibal. You've got tons of food. I saw it upstairs. Well, you possess copacetic powers of observation. Yes, I am going to shoot you so very much. Thank you. I'm rather proud of that fact. No matter what happens, you'll get what's coming to you. God, you right. I've been capturing and eating preachy fools like you for decades. What makes you think you're any different? Big Take a look at Bob guns. over there. He was a spirited lawman from town, hell-bent on finding his brother's murderer. A few nights ago, Bob bashed his head in against the floor in order to avoid the fate of his brother and so many others. Where's the justice in that? By every indication, Bob was an honest, brave soul who died with pride. Yet, I'm still standing here. You're still standing. Don't talk to me about justice. In a few minutes, you're going to be silent. Meaningless fodder for my survival. There's your justice. Okay, locked. Easy. Oh, I don't have any. No, I don't have any. 
Bob. Two Jane in a bobby pit. Bobby pin. Okay. I don't have a gun though. I don't have a gun. Where's my gun? Little fool. Oh god, I'm gonna, die. I'm gonna die, 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 oh god, I'm gonna die, I'm going to die, he's got a knife, I've got fists. Yes, I died, oh cool, okay, right. <sighs> okay, 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 Bob! Two, maybe the 2 Jane was useful. Damn it. No, um, that's items. No, data. I've got no items. Miscellaneous. Bounty. Unknown. Yeah, yeah. Go grey. Thank you. To Jane. I doubt this note will ever reach you. I was arrogant to think I could just strike out alone and make everything right. I failed at so many things. I just wanted to succeed for once. Eric was always better than me and I'm ashamed to admit it. But I was almost happy when he went missing. It showed everyone he was human. And they had to rely on me. I went from being an inept deputy to the sheriff overnight. It looked for a minute like we wouldn't have to sneak anymore. But I could live our dream thanks to chance. But here I am, stripped and freezing in this goddamn dungeon. I've been wandering for days and couldn't believe my luck. My, sorry, I, yes, I couldn't believe my good fortune in finding this place. The sick old bastard gassed me, I bet. I saw what he did to Eric, and it's not going to happen to me for damn sure. I'm sorry everything happened like this. Tell Paul I love him, but don't ever tell him about us. If you ever get this letter, just know that my last thoughts were on you and that it was quick. Love, Bob. P.S. When Paul is old enough, please tell him that I am his father. He may never understand, but he deserves the truth. Okay. Wait. Can I, can I pick pocket my pickpocket skills? Oh, good. Stim pack. Where is the start? I need a go. Run, 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 run. I need a gun. I need a gun. Where's the gun? Where's my stuff, you loony? Where's my stuff? Yeah, well, who's there? Who's there? Really? Who's there? Where's my stuff? Queen size bed. Stolen gear. Stolen gear. Take all. Oh, okay. Luckily, time freezes. <laughs> but oh no 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 no. You see? Where's the I forgot everything. Yes. Anti-material rifle. Leave an action shotgun, little devil. My pistol. Have I got everything? Right. And last of all, shades. You know it had to be done in that order. Shades. Had to be last. Where are you? Come on. Where are you? I can't believe I missed. I mean, I can't believe I missed. I can't believe I missed. I really can't. Oh, God. I mean, when does that ever happen in the movies? The main character, the hero, he gets his gun back. He finally finds it. He gets the gun. He puts the, sh the shades on slowly. He turns around to the bad guy, smiles, and just misses. It doesn't happen. It only happens to me. And you can't say it's bad karma. You can't say it's bad karma. Because I bet he wouldn't have missed. And he's hardly a paragon of virtue, is he? I mean, sure, yes. On occasion, I have been known to shoot people in the face when they deserve it. But I don't make a sandwich out of them afterwards, do I? yippee There'll be no wedding bells for today. Should I be worried that I seem to spend rather a lot of time Shouting at dead bodies. Jingle, jangle, jingle, jingle, jangle, as I go right.